What is up, students? Benjamin Franklin said, nothing is certain in life except death and taxes. It's easy to conquer taxes. Don't pay them. But death is unavoidable. So for today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to make death your bitch. Before embarking on this mission, I knew I had to look the part. And if there's one thing I know, those who don't fear death shop at Hot Topic. So I made the trip to Rancho Cucamonga Galleria to consult with one of their specialists. We're actually not allowed to film inside the store without getting permission from the company. Oh, dude, don't mind the cameras. I'm on a mission here. I'm really just trying to get yeah, in touch with death and make death my bitch. I'm sorry, dude. Okay, well, are, are there any outfits that, like, I can get that might scream like this guy wants to die? Yeah, you know, here's the thing. It's like, I'm on this mission to I get... I understand that, but, like, there are policies. Okay. Um... Do you sell any live bats? Are we still gonna keep filming? It was unfortunate that the manager was too busy to help, but luckily there was a man there who was eager to bless my journey with some sound advice. So I'm on a uh, mission to get more in touch with death. Basically saying what up to the Grim Reaper and bitch slapping him. Yeah. You know, putting my nuts on his face. Right. Um, any tips on how I can get there? My suggestion is go to the morgue. And that's how you, you know, that's first-hand death. You know, you smell death. Yeah. You can see it, touch it, feel how, how, how that body is. Tony's head was in the right <laughs> spot, but works are cold and I want to maintain my tan. So armed with my dad's Amazon account, I successfully secured the proper threads. Now everyone knows that you never want to get on the wrong side of corporate America. So I went to one of the biggest corporations on the planet to poke the dragon and hopefully get them to make me see God. It seems that Taylor Swift fans aren't ready to shake it off. Millions of Swifties were unable to get tickets after overwhelming demand caused delays, lockouts, and aggressive bots. A House committee plans to question the CEO of Live Nation next week. You need to leave. You need to go right now. Well, I'm just here. I'm Taylor Swift's biggest fan. I know how you guys feel about her. I'm here to say, what are you going to do about it? Get, get the fuck out of here. I'm calling the cops. I'm calling the cops right now. Get out. You don't want to do anything else? Goodbye. Okay, late. Getting chewed out by Live Nation felt pretty good, but it's not exactly what I was looking for. I'm trying to die, so I was forced to up the ante. If there's one thing I know about bikers, it's that they'll do anything to protect their hogs. So I paid a visit to Hell's Kitchen, the epicenter of the infamous biker gang Hell's Angels, to shit on their bikes and hopefully slap some skin with the Grim Reaper. A rivalry between outlaw motorcycle gangs leaves the Henderson community reeling and two people fighting for their lives after police say seven people were shot. Police say they have arrested several people tied to the Hell's Angels. What's up, fuckers? This is your bike? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's shitty. Where'd you get it? Toys R Us? You guys don't even want to, like... Just like kick my ass or something? No, not even you. You don't want to beat my ass. We ain't in the fight, man. We we try to get along with everybody. You got problems, but man, you know we can talk about it. I'm sorry, I called you guys bike tards. <laughs> so, I'm on this kind of journey to optimize myself, but you guys are just like you have really kind eyes. So you guys are super sweet. Anything I should do to like get more in touch with death? Yeah, bungee jump. Bungee jump. Unfortunately, my shit-talking skills aren't up to snuff, and Chester recommended bungee jumping. But my buddy Rick likes bungee jumping, and he's the biggest post I know. So like Patrick Swayze in Point Break, I knew I only had one option. Jumping out of a fucking airplane. Kramer, this is Chad. Chad Kramer, hey, Chad, what's up, dude? Want to yeah. take your jacket off? Can I wear my trench coat over it? You, uh, over it? I live for this. Aside from the awkward photo op, I knew this dude was legit. First thing I'm doing is like say what up to the Grim Reaper and say fuck you, yeah. you know? From all the way up. Two and a half miles above the ground. Uh, second one, two, two, and a half? two and a half? Two and a half miles above the ground. Sick. I'll admit it, my inner wuss was kicking in. And it took everything in me to leave him on read. I'm just getting a little more, more and more anxiety, so I think... You know, I'm, I'm just committed to doing this, so no matter what, like, we're, we're, we're going. We're this airplane. Yeah. I don't like landing with the airplane. It scares me. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, I just want to let you know up top. I'm committed to conquering death and making it my bitch, but I'm also, like, a little bit let me freaked see out. Let real quick. Okay. Oh, shit. Grim Reaper, more like Grim Bitch, dude. Woo! I was scared, but also excited to exercise radical vulnerability. I'm actually a huge fan. I, I lied. I'm, 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 I'm
As we were approaching our cruising altitude, I felt super guilty that I didn't tell Kramer about my sore throat. Falling through the air at 125 miles per hour feels euphoric, like getting a rim job from the Holy Ghost. And what I didn't realize until this moment was that by confronting death, I was actually doing what I craved most, living. All right, brother, you just jumped out of an airplane, man. How are you feeling about that? I feel incredible. I feel like I just looked death in the face. I said, suck my dick. Yeah, my bad for all that crazy shit I was saying on the plane, too. <laughs> it's all good. Congratulations. Thank you. Right there.